All right, everybody, welcome back to Sengoku Kasaro. We are now going to be tackling zombies in story mode. Let's go ahead and hop right in. I can promise you, I can promise you this this story is, at least the opening and ending cutscenes are going to be a trip. Here we go. So we could fight Motonari, Otachika, or Yoshihiro first, and we just fought Mo Yoshihiro at the end of the last episode. So let's go ahead and fight Motonari, because we haven't fought him in a while. So just to play it safe, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the attack, defense, and health ones on. And let's take a look at his special moves. So first he's got... A long range upper missile strike and. I don't even know, dude. Zabi journeyed down the long road, preaching his beliefs. It was a road that led to glory. Occasionally wrought with peril. Yet his belief held fast. So she did? What does she cook on it? So I wasn't expecting English narration, but hey, we got it. Alright, let's hope he's not uh, dreadful to play as. I do not like this character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. God, now I just have to listen to Zombie's soldiers for like the whole duration of his story. It just seems like he does a lot of damage. Wish he ran faster, though. <laughs> yeah, so he does at least does a lot of damage. I don't know how his budging is, because he attacks kind of slow. Yeah, he still gets knocked out of attacks just like everyone else. There we go. We're on the next side now to so take out these two guys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of the fact that he gets budged just as easily as everybody else, but he attacks notably slower. Not really a fan of that. You gonna open this gate? No. They're just not opening it. I have to go all the way back <laughs> and climb back over. Okay. Very cool. Oh, did this open? Nope. That was a different gate. Right, here's another guy to beat up, thankfully. Let's take out this guy here and then just, I guess, go up. Thankfully, Motonari's stage is not very difficult. Yeah, 
これで彼も天国へ召されるであろうこの死に殿の戦いこれが勝ってんよ愛が愛が満ちてゆくよもはやならぬか Any minute now. <laughs> I, I know I'm not slower than normal, but God, do I feel it. Like, I feel notably slower. It's probably just the animation. His, like, large lumbering animation makes me feel slower. And I hate it. I hate muskets. I will say, in, in the bomb trooper's defense, at least、uh, their fuse stops going if you beat them up. And Zabi takes them out pretty quickly. So at least,、uh, at least Zavi has that going for him. Also, I might be able to stick the experience thing on on Zavi instead of the health thing. I haven't really taken very much damage to Zavi, which I guess is a good thing. I guess it's、uh, one of the benefits of Zavi being a, a tank. Not a literal tank, but like a different character who we will get to later. All right, let's keep going. I believe there's going to be a lot of bomb, like the, a lot of the bomb soldiers from here on. Let's make sure、uh, we take them out. Ow. Stay down. Nope, 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 nope. We're okay. Yeah, we've barely taken it. Why, why am I. Why do I keep stopping? Oh no, is my left analog stick going? That's a bad sign. Oh yeah, dude. When I point my left analog stick like directly like left. Or like slightly up left, like he just stops moving. Oh, that's bad. I need a new controller. <laughs> I still go on record saying that the DualShock 3 is like one of the worst controllers ever made. The thing sucks so bad. Like, yeah, the thing has a decent, like, date. That's just because it's like, you know, a PlayStation controller shape. But man, these things have always felt like super cheap. Try this, uh, the Sara art. Oh boy. Oh, oh wow. Well, okay. I feel like that wasn't very useful. I think I like this. <laughs> ah, I think I'm a fan of this move. Dude, it does so much damage if you like hit dead on with it. Oh, that's beautiful. I still don't like Zavi, but this move ain't bad. Well said. Alright, so his level weapon is level seven now. Alright, that takes care of Motonari. Let's see over there.、Uh, I think Itsuki just killed Kenshin.、Uh, 
Ieyasu is gone. I don't remember. I think that was... Yeah, Moto Chica just killed someone, too. I don't want to fight Yoshihiro again. Ah, but if I... I have to, no matter what I do. Because if I don't attack Yoshihiro now, if I go for Moto Chica instead, then Yoshihiro is basically guaranteed. Like, I, I, I have to fight him. There's nothing I can do. So, let's just get it over with. Just rip the band-aid off. And let's go ahead and get some more experience while we're at it. Something I want to do on this stage is I'm going to try to get everybody on this side of the uh, map. So I don't have to come back over here after I uh, take out all 16 of them. I've had just about enough of the musket guys. Dude, they're still getting me. This move isn't as broken as I was hoping it would be. Just unfortunate. Plus, it does nothing about the guys who just run up and just keep poking you in the back. But these guys make short work of them. <laughs> Not as effective as you'd hope on uh, like enemy like enemy officers, unless they're like right up against a wall. Let's try it on this guy, that, since he's up against the wall. Yeah, like, that, it's pretty good against walls. Alright. Hey, maybe I can shoot the horses. <laughs> I hate the horse troopers so much. Hurricane, let's go! Oh, never mind. Yeah, uh, this is not working. Let's try this other move. So it definitely weakens enemies to get near him. So maybe a good move? Remember from playing Zitsuki that there's a treasure box back here. I believe there's another guy, like, right over here, too. There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Thank you. Alright, so I think my next destination is going to be the cave on the very left. I hate saying fast forward because, like, while it speeds everything up for you guys, I still have to watch everything in real time. Dude, that guy was just insistent on fighting. Stop blocking. All right, another fast forward. We got this guy now. Let's take him out. Two guys out here. Freaking rock throwers. Ugh. Does nothing about the rocks that are already in the air. Or the rest of the rock first. There we go. Take them out. So I believe that's everybody on the left side of the map. So I think I'm good. I don't have to come back over here. Hopefully. 
really hoping. Man, we got a lot to on this run, except we didn't. First weapon's level 28, and then we got our second weapon at level 6. There. Took care of him. Don't gotta worry about it anymore. Uh, no one else fought each other? Really? I guess we're fighting Mota Chica. Alright. I lose 5 attack, but I get, like, 25 defense. Worth it. I haven't done this stage in a while either, now that I think about it. At least not that I remember. Yeah, cannons are shooting at me. I've got cannons too. That guy sounds bad. Thankfully, the cannons are not very good. Like, as long as you're moving, I think you're completely fine. Also, man, these guys are going down fast all of a sudden. What happened? Ignore all the gun soldiers, because I don't have to fight them. I can't do this. <laughs> why am I doing it? Just because I hate musket soldiers? Ow. That's why. Right, let's go and get the guy to the left now. Look, I actually have people to kill. Not many. There's people to kill. Well, they all disappeared. That's something I, I kind of dislike about this game, is that if you kill, like, a certain enemy, then uh, when enemy troops leave the screen, they just, they're just gone. They vanish. It kind of makes the, uh, the devil XP, like, hard to take advantage of, because a lot of the time you get it, it's like, most of the people you were fighting were dead anyway. We're really making progress on, uh, on through the battlefield. Like, we're already in his base. Well, not there yet, but we're almost there. 
なんと神々しいお姿はいやろうとも宇賀を守れ So I think I'm going to take out the guy on the left first. Ow, 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 ow. You've got to be joking, man. Can I hit them through the wall with this? Dude, I swear to God. Oh my God. They can't even move. See, the guy wasn't even difficult, man. Alright, let's go get the guy on the very left, and then we can enter Motochika's fortress, his pirate fortress. Ow, ow. I guess I might as well kill these guys since I'm like right next to them. Dude, get that flag out of my camera. Alright, let's go in and let's take out the freaking cannon just so it stops shooting at us. So we're gonna take a right here. The guy down this way, so let's take him out too. Come on. Rotate. Please rotate. Cannons are down. We don't have to worry anymore. Pretty exciting because Moto Chica becomes playable, I think, in Sengoku Basara 2. Alright. Let's go take a right and uh, eat all those guys up. Well, I guess there's only one guy over here. I'm over here for a treasure box. I guess there's two because that guy has one also. That's ten. And here we are. So we got, I think, just uh. Just this big... Oh no, there's actually a, a couple dudes, like a dude in here, I guess. Can I just shoot this thing? Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god, Zombie takes this thing out so fast. Oh, that was unreal. Alright, might as well use my useless Basara art. Yeah, like, that's just, that's pathetic. Come on. Why does he gotta have muskets in here too? How'd you go, buddy? Useless Basara art. I guess it's, uh, yeah. Oh, that would have been nice if I killed him with it. Alright, 
All right, we got him. That's Moto Chica down. <laughs> Anything new? So our first weapon is level 37, and we already got our third weapon? Wow. Well, heck yeah. All right, is anyone actually going to fight each other this time? Oh, Masamune is dead. Dude, is Itsuki going to be my main rival? So I could fight Toshi Ie, Nobunaga, or uh, Yoshimoto. I haven't fought Yoshimoto in a while. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I forgot to mention it again. I know I brought it up in a previous episode. Uh... What's his face? Zavi. His name is uh, Q-Ball in the English version. Also, holy crap, look at that attack increase. Heck yeah, dude. Of course I'm going for that 505 attack at level 1? Holy crap. That's insanely high. Also, I have my element now, my fire element. Dude, that's ridiculous. I'm open that gate up, but we're not going that way yet, since I want to go kill the guy over here, so I don't have to make a full backtrack. Oh, dude, there's a horse over here? Why is there a horse over here? I mean, I'll take it, but... Let's hop onto this bad boy and... I'm glad that same voice line played twice in a row. Plus this gate open now. Let's also get these uh, hammer guys out of the way so they don't kill my horse. I'm gonna go around the other way. Oh, please don't kill my horse. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna blow up. Yep. I guess I probably don't need the horse anymore. I'm probably gonna spend more time hopping up on the horse than the horse will save me in travel time. I actually have the time too when there's enemies around. Not that killing them is doing anything. Blow them all up! Oh, I'm Sue's gone, but we forgot all the shields out of the way. Ow. The guy just slapped me out of the air. <laughs> Oh my god, bows. Would have been nice if there was actually some kind of a difference between bow guys and uh, musket guys. Like, maybe bows don't cause you to freaking flinch every hit. The 
Like maybe after only a certain amount of hits or something. Or maybe you could knock freaking arrows out of the air or something. I don't know. I bet. Go. All right, let's go beat up Murray over here. Hello, Murray. I don't remember if this guy ever becomes playable. I also probably don't care. <laughs> I think uh, Yoshimoto would probably take the cake as like my least favorite character in this game. Like, actually. Like, Zavi, it, I don't like Zavi, I don't like Itsuki, I don't like Ranmaru, but above all, I don't like Yoshimoto. Like, my dislike for the three I just listed isn't anywhere near Yoshimoto. I've also never really understood why Yoshimoto is always portrayed as uh, a flamboyant weakling. I think the only game, the only, uh, what's this thing? I think the only Musou style game that actually portrayed Yoshimoto in a way that I like is Samurai Warriors 5, because he was actually terrifying, but he was arrogant and that's what brought him down. All right, the number of hits increases more easily, so it's like, it's like priming in Devil Kings. Another new move. Yeah, like Yoshimoto was actually a competent warlord, as far as I'm aware. Um, but his arrogance was his downfall. Like. He was way overconfident and couldn't ever see someone with a small force like Nobunaga actually taking him out. And Samurai Warriors 5 is the only game that portrays Yoshimoto as a terrifying warlord, and I liked that. Please don't make me fight Shingen again. Please don't make me fight Shingen. <laughs> I don't want to fight Shingen again. What oh. Let's take out Nobunaga. Alright, uh, yeah, I leveled up the other two weapons. They still don't come close to my level one third weapon. Let's go look at our third skill. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have to have that, I'm sorry. That's amazing. With luck, Itsuki will take out Shingen after this. I, know, I just hate fighting. I hate fighting Shingen. Come on. Oh, let's drop the new move. It's so stupid. Get him! Get him, little zombies! Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ow. I love this. I love these enemies. At least, uh, this guy, Zavi, I just said his name a second ago. At least he has a quick way of dealing with the, the Peller guys. We're doing pretty good. I will say, um, 
Despite my dislike for Zavi, at least he plays decently, and I'm getting through his story at a relatively good pace. Like, I haven't had too much trouble going through any of his stages. So, I'm thankful for that, at least. I love that he was down there, so I couldn't hit him with my cannon. God, I hate bowmen and muskets so much. Not as much as I hate uh, the horsemen. Horsemen are probably the worst. All right, Ranmaru, let's do this. Damn it. Dude, this is the most fight Ron Maru has ever put up against me. Like, he was dodging me like crazy. Right. Almost done with the stage. And hopefully Itsuki will take out uh, Shingen because Itsuki's stage is way more preferable. And hey, that's actually Zabi's rival, which is nice. There's no getting around these guys, man. Except for little Zavi. Little Zavi will take care of all the gun guys. Get him, little Zavi! Oh my god, I'm dying because I'm I'm messing around. <laughs> uh, I'm using I'm using little Zavi too much. Dude, was that regular peon blocking my hits? Really? Alright, now. You're gonna be no match for me. Even though you're probably my favorite character to play us. So I'm kind of always sad that I have to beat you up. Got her! Alright, we got our final battle of the stage. I guess we'll open up with my useless Basara art. Dude, that did no freaking damage, and it broke the freaking boxes. I have to grab them now, or they're just a waste. That is a pathetic amount of damage. Ow. This is gonna... No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm trying to stun lock Nobunaga with my cannons, but I can't. <laughs> Got him! Celebrate, little Zavi! Yes, we ended the stage with little Zavi. Ugh. Uh, first level, the first weapon keeps going up, but I don't think I'm gonna switch back to it. And he's out of here. Yes, please, 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 please. Yes. 
Alright, our final battle is Cue Ball versus Puff. We're gonna skip their climactic cutscene because we saw it in the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> Level 1 third weapon is still better. is like this is just a great stage to end up on honest to god i think that itsuki stage is probably my favorite one to play it's just a simple stage you know One more guy over here. Let's take him out. Yeah, Zabi makes quick work of practically everybody. It is nice. There he is. Let's go. Let's open this gate now. Right, that one's open. Let's go open the other gate. As we kill every red dot on these story playthroughs. <laughs> so we got this bridge that we're totally not going to get ambushed on. Wow, we got ambushed? Who saw that coming? Yeah, ignoring the fact that there's only like two bridges on the side of the map, and uh, both of them lead to ambushes. <laughs> something to get through there quicker. That wasn't annoying even a little bit. Why is he just screaming like that? So glad she flew out of it and took almost no damage. Good. Come on. Come on. Just hit her. Just hit her. I'm not asking much of you, Zavi. Just freaking hit her. Dude, you've got to be freaking joking. All right, little zombies, get her. Dude, are you kidding? Dude, why can't I hit her? Oh my god. My freaking cannonball just go right over her head, man. I don't understand why some Vasara arts let you rotate the camera and others don't. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, she was such a pain to hit. What was even going on there? 
Alright, we're almost done here. Final stretch of the story. Let's go. Our last ambush of Zavi's story. I'm getting, like, beat up by all those guys. Go, there we go. Man, some of these enemies do a lot of damage. Knock all those guys out of the way. I'm not really concerned with killing them. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> you notice how big the swords are that the uh, regular enemies carry? They're really big. down. Ow. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. Final confrontation. Ow, ow. So many big hammers. Does she, like, live in a legitimate igloo? <laughs> All those hammer guys. There we go. Keep her over there. <laughs> and she got blown up. First weapon is level 98, and our second weapon is level 77. I wonder if they're any better than our third weapon yet. Dude, he didn't even hit level 7 either. But that's total conquest for Zavi. Well, it took 45 minutes. Oh, God. Huh. Zavi's story is a trip.
Let's see. I don't think I unlocked anybody on this story either, but let's double check just in case. Oh, we unlock Yoshi Hero. Very cool. That's uh, actually exciting. Because I have been looking forward to playing him because he's also a character that wasn't playable in Devil Kings. So, very excited for that. So yeah, that uh, that covers Zavi's story mode. So next time, we're going to be playing as someone a bit different. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.